Hello everybody. I think I shocked a whole bunch of students right now. Welcome to the People's Minute. My name is Raymond Ayas. I just come out of the Hotel des Gouverneurs. You see, I was meeting with the, the Federation of all of the student unions for the CEGEPs. It's about 78,000 students represented in Quebec. And we were at uh, that building behind me there, Hotel des Gouverneurs. Why? Because there's a strike. There's a strike right now at uh, UCAM, the Université de Québec à Montréal, where we were supposed to be. And now uh, these students who don't have that much money to begin with had to pay for uh, conference rooms in the hotel, right? Strikes. Anyway, so I shocked them. Why? Because um, they did this really great work, the students, by the way. It's like a 20-page document I had to read to know what they're asking for and to answer, you know, what's the People's Party of Canada going to do for the students? And here's what we want, basically. That was their document telling us what they want. And uh, I shocked them because whereas most of the things they want are financial. Um, education is a provincial jurisdiction. So I was like, we're going to get out of all this. The People's Party of Canada will not subsidize student housing. We're not going to do that. We're not going to be giving you, um, you know, everything you ask for. They're asking for like tens of millions of dollars to build, you know, 500 apartments. Uh, like that's, that's not what the federal government's supposed to do. The, the separation of powers in the constitution Show, says that education is a provincial matter. We don't have a specific policy on that, but we do have one for health. And basically our policy on health is Canada will, whatever money we're taxing for health, we're gonna give it to the provinces and let provinces handle that exclusive jurisdiction. So I said, that's what we're gonna do for education. And uh, they don't like that because they want transfers of wealth. And, uh, but th their main preoccupation was environmental. And I, we talked about pipelines and I said, if it's fully financed by the private sector, uh, then we're for it. And uh, they didn't like that. And they told me, but we had a confrontation of ideas. They asked me plenty of questions. They liked my candor and the way I defended our uh, platform. Thanks for listening to the People's Minute. Talk to you very soon.